Hi guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about something that I saw on another YouTuber's video who was ranting and raving about AI in Linux. Hey guys, how you guys doing? I just want to take a minute and tell you guys thank you so much for your continued support and viewership of my channel. It means the world to me. I'd like to thank Mieslov Preleza for his patronage over at patreon.com. If you guys really enjoy the video, you can always exercise a thank you by hitting that thank you button down below. Also, later when it's available, you guys will be able to join the channel. Right now I'm waiting the time period for them to turn the button on or whatever because you can now join my channel. I'm eligible for that. So if you get a chance, please join the channel. Help us out. It, it, and every little bit you give helps so much. Until then, you guys continue watching these videos. You guys continue doing what you guys do. Stay blessed. Keep on Linuxing and enjoy this video. Quite frankly, I don't get this person's point. I mean, it is his opinion and, and that's fair enough. But what he shared and what he presented was foolish. I don't know how to call it, color it any other way other than foolish. Um, he was stating that there's no room for AI in Linux. And I don't think this man really understands AI, one, uh, and two, um, the fact that AI has been around already projects for the longest time. Uh, maybe he doesn't realize that <clears throat> where it's been is actually Linux. And so uh, I don't know where that person's head's at, but... But the reality of it is, is AI bad? And yes, it's been proven that it can be bad, used for bad things. But so are guns. So are drugs. Drugs are not invented for bad purposes. They're invented for healing purposes for the most part. Guns were invented for protection for the most part, but the bad people get a hold of it and use it wrongly. And that is the crux of the malfeasance is that is the malfeasant. And, and so AI is another one of those situations. It's been here. It's going to be here. We need to embrace it. We need to make sure that it stays open source or should be promoted as open source. So that that way people who are in the know can check the code and make sure that there's no malfeasance going on. And so uh, that's what we need to do. We need to be, a little bit more governant over it, you know. Uh, we can't certainly stop it. Tomorrow's going to come, whether we like it or not. Sun's going to go down. It's going to turn midnight, and then we start a whole new day. You cannot stop that. That is a process that's been going on since the beginning of time, and it's going to continue going on until the end of time. So it'll certainly not be in our lifetime. I don't think that we see that. And so we're not going to retard or stop AI from existing. I don't think. There's no way we can. It's the future. Sorry, but it is. And we need to be smart about it, yes. But just to kind of stop the fear-mongering that has kind of been pushed by this guy and other sources on the Internet, uh, let's take a look at something real quick. Best open source Linux artificial intelligence software. It's been around anti-spam SMTP proxy server, right? Okay, but Deep Face Lab, okay? This one here has been around since 2021, label MG, right? Dreamtime, okay? But there's further down the list right here. Google Assistant unofficial desktop. But that brings me to the original Google Assistant in Siri. How long have those guys been around and evolving? Okay, they've been evolving for a long time. 
you know, all these are updates on projects that have been around forever. TensorFlow, okay, um, RoboCode, you know, all paper merge, all that good stuff. It's all been around, right? And let's take a look at the top 10 artificial intelligence tools for learning, okay? Deep learning for Java, that's been around for a long time as well. Cafe, learning framework, H2O, okay? MLlib, you know, uh, Apache Mahout, okay? O -N, or OpenNN, or, you know, Open Neutral Networks Library, okay? Oryx 2, okay? Open Psych, okay? And these guys have been around for a long time, okay? Apa this Apache one's been around for a minute, okay? Apache Syst System ML. I mean, there's just been, you know, around. And that's what my point is. This other person apparently doesn't know tech doesn't know the technological aspects of AI and that it's been around for a while and that a lot of the things that we're learning and appreciating right now in Linux have come from a lot of people coding with AI. I, I don't know what to say other than, you know, we need to stop fear mongering on things and we need to focus on the security aspect of it. And that is one thing that he brought up that, that, you know, he's saying that, that it can scrape GitLab and use open source and that that's theft and that it's thieving and this, that, and other. But the reality of it is, is that it's not. If it's on GitLab and it's labeled as open source and it's using true, you know, open source licensure, then you're free to disseminate that with any way you can use when you take it and download it from the GitLab or the Git repository. And, and, and use it, okay? AI is not doing anything different than if it was just you, other than it's a bot on somebody's computer that did it. Okay, and, he, and he was talking about it regurgitating information, you know, that it, he believes it shouldn't have right to. But the, that, and he was saying that Microsoft has driven a lot. And whether they have or haven't, I'm not going to argue because Microsoft has definitely done some thievery in the past. So, but the point is, is if it's coming from a, an open source source and it's, licensed as open source and it's redisseminating it it's not illegal you can do the same thing you can go google images on the online and images right you'll see in your google search where if you go over to the right where there says licensure you click on the license you go down free to use personally and commercially any you click on that and it'll show you all those pictures that come up and any one of those pictures you could edit, you could slap it right on your web page, you could do whatever you want with it because you're free, it's free to use, open source, free to use. Okay. And so I don't understand why this whole preachy on the on the fear mongering of it is when there's so many other things that are going on that we need to focus on, you know, uh building better community relationships between um our our new to Linux users and welcoming them and teaching them more important things than fear AI, you know, like, you know, learning how to use command and it's okay to use terminal and, you know, it's okay to use this type of, you know, operating system and don't pigeonhole yourself into this or that, you know, I mean, there's so many things that we could be doing that are much better than this. You know, AI is going to be here. It's going to last. It's going to run the course of it, you know, of its entire span of lifetime, whatever it's going to do. And we're going to have to live with it, period. That's it. Nothing else that can be said on that. You know, uh, if you don't want AI in your life, then go live in some cave somewhere, off the grid, and you better learn how to hunt and fish. And hopefully, the drones don't find you. Anyhow, guys, tell me what you guys think about the AI thing. Um, if you know or have used any of those uh, applications that I have um, listed in this video. And uh, know for a fact that whether it was good or whether it was bad or had a bad experience with them or a good experience of, on, on the AI aspect. Hey, don't forget, you know, please just chime in. Leave a comment down below. Either way, you guys do what you guys do. You guys stay blessed and you guys keep on Linuxing and you have a great day.